Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about so what is the purpose of output class and how to work with a insert with output class. The purpose of output class is the one which gives you output back. For example, when you are trying to insert the records into a table, so records will be inserted into the table as well as how many records has been inserted into the table, it will give you the give you back along with the dot details. So here we'll clearly talk about how to specify those syntaxes here. So to show you that options like I have created a temporary table with a name of EMP, which is having four columns actually. So let me show you the structure of the table. If you see here, so the employee table EMP table has four columns ID employee, EMP name, location and department ID, <coughs> which is having four columns if you see. So let me insert couple of records into the MP table and show you the differences between normal insert query and insert with output class query. So let me quickly write insert. So into EMP values. So ID employees 101 comma. So name as Raj comma location as India comma. A department ID as uh, 10. So here this is a very basic insert uh, command everybody knows it now. <clears throat> so here if I see this insert command out uh, output or result here once I run this it's simply showing as one row is affected and completion time. But there are cases I am expecting so what row has been inserted back uh, in the insert query. So if you are doing the same insert query by using a front end application they might expect back so what uh, record has been inserted and what is the ID of the record or what is the name of the employee or what is the location of the employee or what is the department of the employee which has been inserted. They want back this information. So in that case, so output class helps us to get that back. If you want all these four values, you can get it or if you want only specific value, you can get that by using output class. So even to get these results back, there are multiple ways, but out of all these ways output class is one of the way. So if I run or if you write the query similar to this, you won't get that information back. So how to get that back? I'm going to show you now. So similar data I'm going to insert but with output class and I'll show you the difference between the normal insert query and a query with insert output. I'll show you that insert. I'll be writing the same insert. Uh, into again same EMP. I'm going to put it as a values. What are the columns? I'm going to insert it. I need to put it ID employee in the same order. I'm going to put it. I can put whatever the order I want, but I'm going to go with the same name, uh, location, comma, DEPT. Okay. So here I'm going to specify <coughs> output. Okay. Output. So here so when I specify output, the data, whatever the data which is trying to insert into this table, it manages in the in memory. So the name of the memory object I'm going to put as inserted, inserted. Okay. So I want all the output, all the columns which have been inserted as a result dot star I'm keeping. If you want all the rows, all the columns which has been inserting into this table through this query, I want to see those. Okay put it and then put the values values and write down here 102 comma uh, name of the employee as uh, um, Kate uh, comma location as um, UK comma department as, as 20. Now see if you see the difference between these first query and second query. So first query it's a very basic insert query. Second query is with output as inserted dot star. <coughs> now what are the records has been inserted by using this query? I'll get in the result tab here. But when you run this only insert query, I got only one tab messages tab. But if I run this query, I'll get two tabs. One is a messages tab, second is result tab. So what are the records has been inserted by using this query? I can see this. See now I'm running this query through SQL Server Management Studio only. But if there are a couple of chances, people might run the similar query from a front end application by using .NET, Java, from other applications, they are expecting back this information. What are the values which has been inserted into this table? So that time they have to go with this. 
okay let's quickly select this and run this as i mentioned i got the results in the result tab and messages how many records has been inserted in the <coughs> messages tab i can see now how many records has been inserted i don't want all these columns i want only id employee i know that uh, once id employee has been inserted means it, it means that all the relevant other columns has been inserted so that time how to do that let's copy this i want only the specific id employee that time how to specify that is inserted dot let's specify only id employee <coughs> and change the values since one zero to already inserted um uh, john so location as um, usa department id i'm making a simple change <coughs> so now if i run this query i'll get only id employee let's run this I'll get only ID employee as results and messages option is same. <clears throat> now, so now I want all the records, but I don't want the name of the columns are the same as table. Let me make it as a dot. <clears throat> I don't want name of the uh, column as ID employee. I want to make it as employee number. So I can give alias names as well here. <clears throat> so e employee. So I want to pass this back to the screen whenever I do do the insert. Okay, let make it as a inserted dot dot emp name, right? Emp name. I'm making as as I'm going to make it as employee name full. So I want to give this. Okay, because see if I give ID employee or emp name, front end users may not. Um, identify so i means what i want what i mean here is i i can say that i have a comfort or flexibility to give the alias names in the output class that's what i am trying to say here inserted uh, dot what is the next one mm, the location i'm going to make it as um, uh, what i'm making as a <clears throat> address i'm going to simply make it as address comma inserted dot department id i am going to make it as as department locate department number and you here number and i am going to make it as 104 this since already been inserted uh, daniels daniels or uh, uk location as uh, at 10 okay let's select this and run this so once you run this, see, if you see the original database columns are ID employee, MP name, location and department ID. But if you see here, you are getting a user friendly names here. Employee number, employee name, address and department number actually, DEPT not DEPT ID. So this is how you can give alias names during the, in the output class. Okay. So if you see in this example, you can select all the rows or all the columns in the insert query or you want any specific columns through output class in the insert query or you want to specify the alias names to the existing column names using output class. So by specifying the alias names, there is no impact to the original table. There is no change to the original table column names. It will simply show you the output in the output class only. There is no impact to the this one. So this is how you use output class with insert queries so that's all about it see you in the next video with a different topic thank you for watching